Off-track betting on horse racing could be coming to a venue near you. The House engrosses and passes a bill to its third reading. The House of Delegates voted 53-41 to give preliminary approval to a bill that would allow off-track wagering at six locations throughout the Commonwealth. Some Richmonders have reacted to the prospect with mixed convictions. I'm against paramutual betting in Virginia because I, I think it's a form of gambling and I just don't want to see gambling in Virginia. I'm in favor of it. I feel it's quite, sort of like a... Uh, a tax that someone agrees to good that they're going to go ahead and pay themselves. They, they place their bet and they tax themselves. In 1988, Virginia voters felt strongly enough about horse racing to approve paramutual betting. But since then, no investors have come forward to build a racetrack, a fact that some delegates say will change if and when the off-track betting bill is passed. I think the vote today in the House um, was indicative of what the voters of Virginia had said they wanted a few years ago. Others say this is just another form of gambling that will open a Pandora's box for lawbreakers. Clearly there would be more opportunities for illegal activities uh, the more sites you have. Now that paramutual betting has cleared its second hurdle, legislators say it is likely to make it past its third reading and then get sent to the Senate. But hold on before you take that money out of your pocket. It could be several years before you get the opportunity to pick a horse and place a bet. In Richmond, I'm Jay Ariano, WTVR News 6.